So it's been some time since we dropped Android apps. I mean, I missed it. So today we are going to change that. Here are some apps that let you erase unwanted people from pictures, just like Pixel's magic eraser, store and retrieve government documents with ease and unblur your precious photos. Well, this is Pratik, you're already watching TechWiser and I bet you that subscribe button doesn't turn gray if you press it. Wait for the end, I have a small surprise for you. First up, we have DigiLocker. Now, DigiLocker is not a new app, but I want everyone to install this app after watching this video. It's kind of not promoted well. DigiLocker is an app by the Indian government that already has a collection of hundreds of documents of citizens. You just have to log in in the app and pull those files using your mobile number. For example, here, have a look. To get the Aadhaar, I create a DigiLocker account, then search for Aadhaar and log in with my registered mobile number. That's connected to Aadhaar and that's it. Now you have your Aadhaar card on DigiLocker. The beauty of DigiLocker is all documents in it work as legal proof. If you can see, there is a QR code on this Aadhaar. Well, any government official can scan it to verify that if it's an original document or not. In fact, since last year under IT Law 2000, you can just show your license, RCs, etc. to the traffic police in DigiLocker and there's no need to carry a physical copy with you. Now, you may be wondering what kind of documents are stored on DigiLocker. Well, Rinal was able to extract his 10th mark sheet, 12th mark sheet, college mark sheet, driving license, Aadhaar, and even life and health insurance documents that were taken by private banks. So yeah, it has almost everything. And even if not, you can upload your scanned documents using free cloud storage, just like this. It's pretty cool. First setup will take you about 30 minutes, but once you do it, you are set for life. Just like they told you after 12th standard. Also, they have 256-bit encryption, so in case you're worried about privacy, that's there. Next up is Remini, and I bet you will love this app. See, this is a blur picture, and this is after. Like, damn. Look at my eyes, so sharp. So, Remini uses AI to unblur your blurry pictures. Now, with slow phones, the camera shutter is a bit laggy. So, most of the time, you get blur photos. And if that spoils your moment, use Remini. Now, since Remini uses AI, the algorithm works quite great with human faces. So if you're using an object like this water bottle, you can see it doesn't do a great job. Now, the only thing to note is Remini is free, but for every task, you'll have to watch a 30 second video. I guess for most of us, that's better than paying money. Now, next up, this is not an Android app per se, but an online tool, but it's so innovative that it had to be included. Now, if you guys followed, Google Pixel 6 brought this cool feature called Magic Eraser. It lets you remove people from a photo. Here's how you can use it on any Android device or even iOS for that matter. There's a web app called Cleanup Pictures. It does the same exact thing. Like here, see, I have this photo of Mumbai Airport. I don't like this couple in the photo, in the photo, not in life. I can just use the brush and boom, done. Another one, here, have a look. This is a good photo of a chimney within the car, but I don't want the bike here, just spoils the frame. So I can just keep on eliminating people from the photo, of course, like this would take me hours in Photoshop. And here, you could just swipe and done. Next up, we have Tasker. Now, a lot of new people wouldn't be aware about Tasker or Taskernet. In case you don't know, Tasker is the best option to customize or automate your Android phone. Now, the problem with Tasker has been it's quite difficult to learn. However, now you have Taskernet 2.0 which is a website that gives Tasker profiles created and tested by other users. So in order to import Taskernet profiles, all you have to do is open Tasker, tap on the plus button at the bottom and select Taskernet. It will take you to the Taskernet website and here you can scroll between different public profiles. You can tap on any profile to view the description and to import it into Tasker, you just have to tap on import and that's it. Tasker will ask you a couple of basic permissions and you also have to give the profile a name. And after you have imported it, there's a glitch in Tasker. It doesn't show up immediately. So you have to force close the app and then open it again. And now you can see your important profile called charging. It starts beeping when my phone battery hits about 90%. So anywhere between 90 to 100, I can just plug off my phone. And please, no not jokes, please. And here's my favorite. I read a lot of articles on my phone in Google Chrome. So usually screen timeout is just 15 to 30 seconds. But I've set up display timeout to never only when I open Google Chrome. So see, as soon as I open Chrome, Tasker disables screen timeout. And once I swipe up and go back to the home screen, the screen timeout is again switched to 15 seconds. 
quite great. So this app was going to be Netflix gaming, but ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there have been last minute changes. The talk of the town is the new released PUBG New State. Now, if you're a sucker for good graphics in game, boy, there are lots of improvements in this game just on graphics. Now, straight up in the lobby, you have elevators now. I mean, I'm a person who takes stairs, but I appreciate elevators. And then you have so good lens flare over here, like the sun, if you look here on the side, damn, that's, that's a good lens flare. And wait for it, you can now fire and break doors. Let me see, it works on every door. No, not on this one. But if I point to the house and I fire, yes, I can break those doors. So I love this so much. This is much like CSGO. And next, the water rendering and these splashes when I fire inside it are so much better. And funny thing, here I was about to die. So I have an option called give up. I can give up. And even the other person can take me into their team. It's funny, like if you happen to be the last 10 person in the game, you can all go through a friendship round and you all win. So happy, happy chicken dinner for everyone. And a really fun thing I saw in the PUBG New State FNQ, if your game crashes and you have developer options enabled, you would have to turn it off because they don't allow developer options enabled. And now you have EVs inside the game. And I don't know about you, but it sounds to me like an e-rickshaw. <laughs> I don't know how an EV sounds, I've just ridden an EV scooter, but this for sure sounds like a rickshaw. I guess all the motors are same. So the next app is like a personal use case. Recently during Diwali, I was traveling from Delhi to Mumbai and I was just watching content on my phone. But what happens is when you are on the move, you accidentally keep touching your screen and the playback stops. So here's an app called TouchLock. So all you have to do is install TouchLock and you would swipe down on the notification bar tap on it and now the touch on the smartphone is locked. So you can just continue watching the content and the good thing is when you receive a call, the touch lock is disabled. So now you can tap and accept the call as well. Quite smart and I really like this app. So next up we have Boy. Boy is a really exciting app that I personally discovered. Now if you're someone who really likes to push your battery using a battery saver because hey, not everyone has a 5000 mAh battery. You would have noticed that Android doesn't give you many options to modify battery saver settings. So boy steps in there. First of all, you'll have to connect it to ADB and provide it right permission using this command. Now battery saver by default turns off vibration, always on display. So you can use boy and enable that even in battery saver mode. And more importantly, during battery saver mode, background apps and data are disabled. So you can enable background app usage during battery saver. And when there are times you are left with only 5% battery, you can enable extreme battery saver mode in boy and it lasts a bit longer. And not to mention all of this works seamlessly with the inbuilt Android battery saver, except for Xiaomi phones. If you use MIUI, of course. And just to end all of this, I'm using iPhone 13 for a video review as my daily driver. I mean, big deal, at least for me, coming from Android. So here's a small iOS widget I am personally using called Launcher. It lets you make your own set of widgets on the iOS home screen. It's like small actions like calling your mom, opening WhatsApp, or playing a specific Spotify playlist in the morning. All of it is customized and free. Let me know how many of you use iOS. I really want to know that. On that note, this is Badi signing off. See you pretty soon. Pew, pew, pew.